forever and forever he has no other name it's not Jehovah it's not the Lord it's not Jesus it is simply I am that is the Father and so I'm telling you tonight if you really believe it you can start now this night and change the world in which you live start with your own environment what would it be like if it were true that I am now the man that I would like to be or the woman that I'd like to be and then simply define it as clearly for the word potter simply means to mold into a form the first definition is imagination it means to resolve it means to determine so you could determine a certain state in your world a resolution now I resolve to be and you name it not based upon the evidence of your senses or what reason dictates but a wish on your part as we are told in Shakespeare it has been taught us from the primal state that he which is was wished until he were and so he is now a reality in my world he began only as a wish I am the man I wanted to be it began as a wish my father became the success that he was when he departed this world it began as a wish he didn't have one penny in this world he went to a school and what do you think the charges were a penny a week the British penny being two cents it was two halfpennies one penny a penny a week and many a week his father being a very very heavy drinker couldn't find the penny to pay that fabulous scholastic thing but he came out and started without a decent education but he had a dream and he always had the dream and when he was toppled from a small little partnership two of my brothers went to see the three men who actually maneuvered the entire thing and they asked why what happened to daddy why did this thing happen you know what one of them said to my two brothers you gotta throw your hat too high well you can't throw it high enough may I tell you who in this world is more entitled to any exalted state than you when house within you is the only God so they said you got us throw your hat too high he wanted us to always remain based upon the level where my parents began in this world that was my, that was not my father's dream so the partners all die working for other people at small little salaries and my father died working only for himself and his son at the age of 85 and left 10 children each financially independent so they threw the hat too high did he if he had lived longer he would have thrown it even higher that was my father's dream so do not let anyone tell you to be satisfied with this that or the other it is the God in you that gives you desire you wouldn't need tonight if you didn't have a desire and who is desiring it is God desiring desiring constantly to transcend himself and so tonight you dream dream noble dreams I am telling you those who are coming here and those who have been coming through the years New York San Francisco and elsewhere they're now beginning to really come into a head to awaken to the truth that I have been telling you through the years that you're going to discover that you are God the Father thou art our Father yet our potter and we are the clay in thy hand the day will come you'll discover why he calls this the clay we are emotional filters and we bear the marks of our prevalent emotions and he allows these marks good, bad or indifferent 